Okay, let's talk about memory upgrades. If you're going to work with the memory upgrade on a smartphone, what you're generally going to be doing is changing out the long-term storage and increasing that long-term storage. Same, same thing with tablets, uh, phablets, whatever you want to call them, but it works the same way with most mobile devices. And what you want to do is you want to shut down the device. So I'm holding down the button and powering it off. And then we have to get to where the memory is. Now on some devices, you're not going to be able to do this yourself because it's not user serviceable and you'll have to bring it to an authorized service center. Otherwise you void the warranty. With this device, we can open it up. So first we need to take the case off. And by the way, this is a spec case, which works pretty well for this Galaxy Note 4. It's a pretty delicate instrument. And so the spec case uh, works pretty good. And then we need to get the back case off of here. And generally you're going to have one little spot where you can stick in a small shim to pry that guy off. So I'm going to do that now. And once you get that little guy pried out there, then you can work along the edge. You want to be kind of careful. Just work along the edge and barely pop it out a little bit. Just be gentle with it so you don't crack anything and you get the whole thing off of there. Now we have our back area here. You want to be careful not to touch any of the circuitry that you might see. And we want to pull the battery before we do anything else. We'll take that guy out. And then we have two items here. We can add memory here and we can increase our long-term storage with a micro ST SD card. And, uh, you know, a device like this has 32 gigabytes of Ram inside 32 gigabytes of flash memory inside, I should say not Ram, but flash memory. Uh, but then you can add an additional amount up to another 32 gigs. So that's common with a lot of these. And over here you see the SIM card and the SIM cards snap into place here. That's a typical SIM card for a device that's on a GSM network. And that has all the uh, personal information in there. Snap that guy back in. But we can add a micro SD card right here. You know, let's say I need a little bit for just a little while. Need an extra two gig. Put that guy in, slide him in. And that'll show up in our memory here whatever amount you want as up to the maximum for that device for this one it's 32 gig once we get that guy in there and again it's got to be a micro sd put the battery back on and then we can put the case back on there and same thing as before we want to slowly go around the edge and snap it into place Just slowly go around that edge there, very gently. We can turn it back on to make sure it boots. Okay, now the system's booted, and we'll go down to settings again. We'll scroll all the way up till we get to storage, because we want to check and make sure that it's reading that storage. And when you go to a page like this, uh, always let it uh, refresh might take a little bit and that'll show the system memory it'll show the use space that you have etc it'll show the total space on the device and then if you have an sd card like we just added and i just added a little two gig card to show this uh, but it'll show that space that's available and some of that space is being used and you could always format that sd card from here so you know you have your main memory your main long-term storage which is built into the device for this guy, 32 gig. And then we have that additional SD card. I just put a two gig in, but again, it could be as much as 32 gig on this device. And if you ever want to remove that guy, you're going to have to unmount him first. So we'll tap unmount. And it tells you that might stop applications. If you have any running from that guy, we'll tap okay. Okay. And now we can actually physically remove that guy.
And if you want to do that, you want to shut it down again. So if you ever have to remove memory, make sure, make sure you unmount it before you uh, remove it. Wait till you're fully shut down. And same thing as before, we're going to pry this guy out. Pull the battery. And then we can remove that card. I have no need for that two gig card. Maybe in the future, I'll upgrade to about 32 gigs more. And again, that's a micro SD card. Very tiny. Uh, whenever you put these down, put them down inside the little case that they come with. Or at least if you put them down, put them down with the uh, connectors facing up. Okay. So always remember to unmount that card if you have an additional SD card uh, before you remove it physically. And always pull that battery if possible beforehand as well. So there's a little bit about uh, installing and removing uh, memory cards, uh, long-term storage, micro SD cards, and also you know, where to find that SIM card on some of these devices. And put this guy aside. If we look at a little bit of an older device, you might be, deal with some of these as well. Here's that older HTC uh, sliding keyboard phone that I was talking about before in a previous lesson. Now, this guy has the same type of thing, has a little case that you can pry out back panel that you can take off. I'm being much less gentle with that. And here we have the battery you can pull out. And you'll see here we have a 16 gig uh, micro SD card. And to get this guy out, there's a little uh, connector here. We pull that up and that pops the card up and we can grab that out of there. So we got a nice little 16 gig stick there. And same thing with mounting and unmounting of these. It doesn't matter the age of the phone. Make sure that you unmount them before you uh, disconnect them. Putting them in, just snap it in, and then push this guy down, and snap it into place. Put the battery back in, and put the case back on. And again, most of these devices, if you can get to them at all, that's what they're going to use. They're going to use that micro SD card, uh, that little tiny micro SD card. If you find that you need to read information from one of these from a PC, well, you're going to find it's going to be pretty hard to connect this uh, to a standard PC or laptop. So you have a couple options. Uh, I have some adapters here that you could use. For example, this, this is a micro SD to USB connector. So that's a nice option. If your laptop or PC has an SD, a standard SD slot, you could use a device like this. This is an adapter. And you connect the micro into the adapter. And then the adapter goes into that SD slot if you have an SD reader. And you might have an SD reader built into the laptop. And it could be hidden sometimes. It could be underneath the uh, lid of the laptop and easy to miss. Um, or you might have one on your PC or you might have one that's an external USB connector as well. So a nice little adapter for that. Or again, you could use this USB guy. And that works pretty well also. So use an adapter if you have to, to read from those SD cards. And be real careful when you're uh, working with these. Again, make sure you unmount it. Take out the battery uh, before you do anything with those SD memory cards. And that's about it for this sub lesson.